Hello, my name is Clint McDonald, and I'm going to do a series of videos on Visual Basic and creating Windows Forms applications. And this is meant as a tutorial series that can be used for learning the language, learning um, good programming practices, as well as some advanced techniques and database definitions. So we're going to get started with our first tutorial here, and this is going to be about creating a project and then going on and adding a multi-project solution system. All the tutorials will be held in one solution file with multiple projects. Each tutorial will have a project, and we're going to organize those and show you how they're stored on your hard drive and how to go about configuring that in order to make life a lot easier when you're having multiple projects. So for instance if you're going through a course and you have multiple projects or multiple labs you can have one solution file for all your labs and create each lab as a project within that system and you can move forward keeping everything organized. In a situation where you may have to create a project that would be a class library or a DLL you can run that alongside the projects and in fact then you could use the same library in multiple projects and reference through references. So let's get started here within Visual Studio. We're going to create our first new project. Now you could create it using the start page here when you first load up Visual Studio or we can go ahead and go file new project. So we're going to open up a new project and we're going to choose a Visual Basic Windows Forms application and we're going to name this and we're going to call this Tutorial 01. Okay. And that's fine. And I'm going to call this 01 because later on I'm going to have more than 10. And when I get to 10, I want them to be in order. And if I don't put 01, then 10 would actually appear before 2. So we want to keep them in order. So we're going to use 01. This will be good up to 99 tutorials, and I don't think I'm going to have 99. So we'll say OK. Notice that it did not ask me where to save it on my hard drive. And in fact, it's going to have created it in a temporary folder. If I right click on this project and say open in File Explorer, you can see here it's in my app data local temporary projects folder. And now that's not where I want to store it for the long term, but for now that's where it puts it. So once I want to start organizing things, I want to start off the right way. So I'm going to do this right away. Before I've done anything in the project, what I want to do is establish my folder structure on my hard drive. So I'm just going to hit the Save All button here. And what it does is it asks me for saving my project. And so there's a couple things to note here. So the name is the actual project name. Then it's going to ask for a location. Now I've preset this up so that I have a uh, folder structure already set up. So I'm using Dropbox as my backup system, as well as um, a tutorial videos folder. Now the solution name is important because you don't want your solution name to be the same as a project name in a multi-project uh, solution. What you want the solution name to be is a generic name that covers everything. So I'm going to call this VB Tutorials. Okay. So I have VB Tutorials as my solution name and my first project is Tutorial 1. I want to create a directory for my solution. So what it's going to do is inside my tutorial videos folder, it's going to create a VB tutorials folder. Within that folder, it's going to create a folder for each project. So there'll be a tutorial one project created as well. I'm not going to use source control for the purposes of these videos, although it is recommended to have some kind of source control system for um, development processes where you can change your mind, test things, go back to the main thing, as well as it's a really good backup system as well. So we'll go ahead and hit the save button here and we'll watch to see what happens. And it doesn't appear as much happened. You can see here that our solution explorer still shows only the project. It doesn't show the solution here. Um, however, if I right click on this and say open in file explorer now, you can see that in my tutorials folder that I specified when I saved it, there's my solution folder then within the solution folder is my solution file and a project folder okay there's a hidden folder here for Visual Studio which is used for our configuration and preferences information uh, for the most part we don't need to worry about that and none of these tutorials will actually address that 
So what we're going to do is we're going to close this and we're going to go ahead and add our second project. Not that we're going to do any work in projects in this first tutorial, but we're going to go ahead and add it now so that we can see how the folder structure and how a multiple, multiple project solution works. So what we're going to do is instead of going file new project, we're not going to do that anymore. For every project within the solution, we cannot do that anymore. Because if we were to do that, what it would actually do would be to close our existing project and create a new one which would actually be in a new solution. And we want to add this project to the same solution. So we're going to, rather than say new project, we're going to go say add new project. And what that does is adds a new project to the existing solution. So again, Visual Basic Windows, Windows Forms application. And note that the location is my solution folder. So we'll just leave that alone. And in fact, if we do this from within the solution, we should never have to change the location again. So I'm going to go ahead and call this tutorial 2, okay, and go from there. And if I move this over, you can see I'm keeping my name in scene, but tutorial 1, tutorial 2, etc. Later on, I can give it some more information about what's actually in the tutorial and what topics are being covered. But for now, we'll just keep it as tutorial 1 and tutorial 2. So I'll say OK on this add new project window. And if we wait a second for it to create it, you can see now that we have tutorial 1 and tutorial 2 here in order okay and if I close them up you can see my one solution which is VB tutorials my two projects which are in here and so just so I know what I'm doing I'm going to close the two forms and in tutorial 1 I'm going to open up form 1 and in my properties I'm going to quickly just change the text to tutorial 1 oops spell it right tutorial 1 okay and there we go so we'll close that save it and then in my tutorial 2 I'll open up form 1 and you see it's still form 1 there and I'll change this to tutorial 2 okay and and we'll close that so what I want to show you is in a multi project solution when I'm running or testing or debugging or compiling or doing anything with my projects, it's really important that I know which project is my current one and which one's actually going to happen. If I just was to hit the start button and it was going to compile, it's building here, starting, succeeding, and now running. And there you go. You can see that it ran tutorial one, which is okay. But what if I want to re work on tutorial two? So we'll close this and we'll stop the debugging which is there and note that in the project folders here that tutorial one is actually bold okay so if I click on the solution you can see one's bold and one's not so if I right click on tutorial two and say set a startup project alright you can see now that tutorial two is bold now when I actually run the debugger you can see here now tutorial two actually ran so in other words you always need to keep track of which project you're currently working on. There are some there are some options in the preferences of the solution, which can give you um, which can give you some ways you can do it. So you can say single startup project. So this would be by selecting the bold one, or you can say current selection. And what current selection would do is if you happen to be editing a form or editing something within a project, that would be the current selection. So in other words, where you've highlighted in the Solution Explorer, all right, so even though Tutorial 2 is the bold one, if I highlight Form 1 from Tutorial 1, you can see that my boldness on my project actually changes, which means the current project changes. So whichever one I've currently clicked on, would be what was executed when I ran the start button. So that's about it for now. The next tutorial will look at project properties and setting up your project before you do too much. Uh, it's always important to do as much as you can up front because any changes you need to make to the project later can cause other issues. So for now, we're going to end it right there. Thank you much. Thank you very much, and talk to you soon.